My Gemini, my Yanny Yang Gemini, yeah. What's up, Twins? It's poppy. Going down in the life of a Gemini. Nah, the last half of April. Are you guys in this place of finding your chi, keeping your chi, aligning yourself with your spiritual path as well as positive shit only? <laughs> hey, Blue Hands, this is your first time you're on my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time you're on my channel, look out, you guys. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for for you, please feel free to find another beautiful leader here on YouTube. They can better assist you without cussing because me, the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. All right. To my new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. What's up? What's poppy? We are a little dysfunctional. We do not fight and fuss, however. We leave that shit on other people's channel. Oh, but over here, we do cuss. We grow. We laugh. We love. We evolve. We enlighten one another. We share. We're family. Okay. So, you guys, um, this is not personal as you know it's general you need a personal reading that information can be found below okay to the returning subscribers family uh what's popping what's going on you guys how you guys been upholding um with mars all of these transits going in your sign first and foremost i know it's a little uncomfortable some days you want to love somebody my son told me the other day he said mom i'm having a hard time because you know that's gemini baby I'm having a hard time because, you know, I don't know what's going on in the sky. That's what he told me. I don't know what's going on in the sky. But I do know that I've been having a hard time between being cool and wanting to beat people up. I told him, you got to find your center, son. <laughs> you got to find your center. You got to know when, okay? But what we're not going to do is be whooping people ass and they ain't gave us no reason. Get it together. Reevaluate. Reassess the situation. Step back outside of the shit and look at it from bird's eye. Then you'll see things from a different perspective. Okay? Y'all genius. I ain't got to tell y'all this shit. You don't think about it regardless. All right. That's it. <laughs> um, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Gemini uh, for this last half of April. Okay? So, you guys, we're going to start off with the intuitive messages. You guys, uh, please uh, take what resonates. Leave the rest. If that motherfucking shoe does not fit, don't try to make it fit. Because if it's too big, your ass is going to fall. Okay? So just don't do it. It's not going to work out for you. Okay? Let's rock. Um, thank you all in advance for the likes, the shares, the subscribes. It truly, in the comments, y'all, especially my comments, the comments be lit. It truly means a lot to me, guys. Thank you so very much. I humbly appreciate it. Okay? So let's get it. The intuitive messages for the last half of April for Gemini. You guys, Scott, betrayal, patience, just leave, royal bloodline, new business, they already know, ancestral cycles, telepathy, legal documents, compromise, life purpose, health, lineage, spiritual path, Truth, overextending, strategic, legal documents, past life, dreams, forgiveness, unexpected events, abandon, catalyst, new love, temper, nature, judgment. What's this, y'all? Oh, rectify. You have your rose on your hand to stay your own damn hand right? Rectify. Poker face. Review. Control issues. Children. Okay? So, if any of those intuitive messages resonate with you, Gems, let's talk about it. All right? Your angel message for the month uh, comes from Archangel Ragio. Divine order is what you guys got. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. Okay? 
So I definitely feel like this is a time for you guys. And I feel like this sense of like balancing or things being balanced out for you. There's a sense, y'all, this hair in my face is irritating. It's irritating. So if you see me, I know y'all like, look, because I'm not used to, y'all know I'm used to painting my damn hair up or having wraps on. So it's irritating sometimes. Um, But I feel the energy of things balancing out for you guys. Some of you all may also, for those of you who are dealing with legalities, court issues, things of that nature, for some of you guys, I'm hearing assets. So some of you guys may be um, in the process of possibly suing an old job. I'm also hearing harassment. So some of you guys could have had some type of sexual harassment or some type of harassment issue or some type of issue that I feel like for some of you all, you feel overlooked, but there's a sense of you not trying to control the issue or control the matter and just know that there is karmic justice here. Karmic justice means that there is some type of... Um, for some of you all, it's like an it's 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 an it's a turn of events uh, where someone else is trying to control the situation or manipulate a particular outcome, and there's it's it's, it's like the event it's it's, it's kind of it's a feeling of like interception, you know that type of feeling. Like it's a feeling where somebody thought they was going to do their little football dance with the legs and on the cool, you just, you just slide in there and then kind of intercept the dance because victory is yours. Um, some of you guys, you're needing to make a decision during this time. I definitely feel like there is ancestry tied behind this. Some of you all, um, there is some sort of like, there's an alignment of information for some of you all. And I definitely feel like some of you all were waiting on some type of court cases or some type of legality or some type of like um, documents or some type of finalization to something to close out. But there is this need of, the, the, it's like the, a sense of alignment. For some of you all, there's a decision to be made or that's going to be made during this. Uh, for some of y'all, I feel like it's happening mid-month now. Some of y'all could be going through this now I'm hearing but for some of you all you're making a choice to move away from situations that make you feel as if it's not safe to speak up for yourself or move away from situations that make you feel as if you're less than or make you feel as if you have to be remorseful for speaking your truth some of you guys are choosing choosing a path of enlightenment during this time some of you guys are strictly focused on spiritual abundance and how to manifest things um literally by walking and becoming the vibration of the things that you want to manifest. So instead of chasing the bag, Gemini is actually taking on some of that Mars energy that has been transiting and learning how that of Aries of how not, if you want to manifest the bag, stop chasing the bag and become the bag. Speak the prosperity and the abundance into your life. Stop chasing the vibration and become one with that vibration. So there's an energy of you guys learning how to manipulate the energy that be good shit. For some of you all, moon cycles are very important. For my ladies, some of you guys are going through some type of change, some type of like life cycle shift. Some of you guys could literally be switched, like your menstrual cycle could be a bit off, or some of you guys could have two menstrual cycles. For my ladies who are going through um, menopause, there may be some weird shit happening with your body where some of y'all may be spotting, even though you're going through a sense of menopause, so you really need to go to the doctor. There's a need for you guys to really check on your health, because for some of you all, you're going to find there's, there's an underlining issue. For some of you all, I'm hearing, some of y'all I heard fibroid. Some of you guys really need to go check the fibroid. And some of you guys, there's also an under, like, there's a sense of, like, internal bleeding. So there could be some type of, um, and for some of y'all, I'm also hearing digestive. Some of y'all could also be having issues with the digestive tract during this time. So there's a sense of you kind of changing changing the way that you do things. And I feel like it's, it's been a long time coming. Some of y'all have been trying to book the system as far as your health. But it's a, it's a time not to be booking. When Jupiter is in retrograde, damn it, you don't book. Okay. Don't nuck if you buck because your ass might get stuck in the midst of the buck. Don't do it. Okay? Just don't do it. Some of you guys are focusing on your lineage, your ancestry. Some of you are also in, in, in learning and things coming into coming into like alignment when it comes to this to this lineage some of you guys are choosing um like ancestral practices such as like reiki uh shamanic healing some of you guys also are moving into um some type of i'm feeling the sending of energy like someone doing like distant reiki or something of that nature some of you guys also maybe um uh, maybe uh, maybe wanting to become yoga specialists um some of you guys also need to find maybe using yoga or a sense of some type of um, meditation. A lot of you guys are going to be very meditative during this time. Some of y'all are going to connect with God more than you ever have before in your life during this time because there's this feeling as if you have to look over your shoulder. Like even when I begin to do y'all reading, I have to look outside like um, 
I kept feeling to look outside like as if something was coming or like somebody was getting ready to knock on the door or something like that. So I don't know if that's the feeling that you guys are having as if like there's this anxiety around someone coming or something that could happen or something that could occur. And I'm hearing that it's tied into your dreams. So some of you all, you're not dreaming of any type of illusion. Some of y'all, like your biggest, I'm feeling the energy of the biggest fear coming to knock at the front door. Okay, now you take that how you want it. For some of you all, this could be someone who you haven't spoken to in quite some time. There is some type of alignment with the stars. Like some of you guys will have some type of faded meetings. Some of you guys are really, really needing to eat more berries during this time. Um, it has something to do, again, with that digestive tract. Something about berries as well as like green leafy vegetables, kales, um, uh, spinach, things of that nature. Um, there's a focus for you all on the throat chakra speaking your truth not allowing yourself to be overextended overextended and getting lost in the worries and the fears and the fucks of others that's not your fuck to be why are you putting yourself in this place of being stressed the fuck out full of anxiety for a fuck that doesn't even belong to you Gemini, that's not your fuck that's they fucks I know that people didn't got used to leaning on you for all the damn answers but where you gonna go? who can you run to when you've depleted all your fucks, gems, who can you run to? When you need love, who can you run to? I want you to think about it. We're going to take a little moment of silence for Gemini to think about who the fuck can they run to. Because a lot of you guys, you're overlooking the big ass elephant in the room. How much do you have to be pushed out of your comfort, pushed away from people, situations, and places? Where you feel helpless, but ultimately you feel as if you're doing the wrong shit, but God set it up that way because that's not your fucking, it's not your part. You don't know what they did last summer. When Jupiter is in town retrograding, I believe that's the karmic reward planet. So the things that you have sown, the seeds where you have sown is what you're going to harvest. So if you've sown manipulation and um, overextending yourself to, uh, to others, um, if you've sown, um, backbiting messy talking about others behind your back please be expecting with open arms that shit during this time it's what you put out and so there's a need for you guys not to have this energy of like a double-edged sword because it's a time of rectification things being divinely pretty much we have no control over anything god got his personal hands it, the angels your archangels your spirit guys got their personal hands and wings all in the mix of your putting mixing shit up to fix shit, whether you're on the right side or the wrong side of the fence, it's not your part to worry about how people are going to perceive the things that are coming out to the wash, it's how you feel, how things are going to perceive, you know, how people are going to perceive your growth, your spiritual aspect of things, how people are going to perceive your path, that's not their part, it's your path, and do you really want to go out with some woulda, coulda, shouldas, think about it, for some of you all, you are going to be receiving some type of es esoteric information. Some of y'all could also be having some type of, um, in, in the midst of meditating, some of y'all could also be having some type of higher self encounter during this time. Like you actually see and come encounter with your higher self, have a conversation to know your next steps. Some of y'all ain't got to be dreaming when this happens. Some of y'all going to be meditating. And I feel like it's going to happen for whomever is meditating out in nature, planting that ass in the firm ground because there's a focus on the throat chakra speaking your truth, but there's also a focus for you all on the root chakra the foundation centering if your foundation of anything is off you're fucked because how can something grow with a rock in a, with, on, on a rocky foundation it won't it'll just sink drown or rot some of you all there is some type of alignment or some type of information. Some of y'all could have, this could have to do with your father, the father of your children, a father figure. Some of y'all could be receiving some type of, especially if your father crossed over on the other side, some of you guys could be receiving messages from your father, um, your son. I'm recording messages from your father, your son. Um, this could also be a brother. 
But there's this healing energy, okay? Some of you guys really need to heal from an issue that could have occurred when you were younger surrounding your father. This could have to do with abandonment issues. Some of you guys are in marriages where you really don't like your spouse. I mean, I can't put it in a nice way. You don't like the answer at all, but you stay there because of what other people, how other people are going to perceive you or perceive your actions or what you're doing. But if y'all really think about the people who be perceiving y'all shit to be fucked up, just really think about those people for a second. Perception got people out here in marriages that they don't they don't, they don't really like that person. But my mama was married, my daddy was married. But some of y'all grew up in marriages where you still got abandonment issues. Grew up in in in, in, in homes where you still had abandonment issues. You know why? Because they weren't happy. So that's the ancestral cycle that's going to keep following you. And you're going to keep acting like as if there's not a damn elephant in the room, but your soul thinks otherwise. Your soul feels differently. Some of you all, there is abundance around healing a situation with the father figure. For some of you all, you've been seeing a lot of green. Some of you guys really have the energy of like windfall energy like some of y'all you've been wanting to play the lottery or any type of raffles or things of that nature they look very good for you all during this time some of you guys are getting some type of information and i feel like it has to do with lineage ancestral ties some of you guys are finding out that you have royal bloodlines some of y'all are finding out that you have inheritance in whole nother other countries from people who you ain't never even met before some of you guys i'm hearing this is tied to your children there's a need for you to know that you are spiritually protected. Some of y'all could also be dreaming about wolves. Again, it has to do with your lineage, especially if you have any type of um indigenous, like indigenous or any type of like indigenous like or indigenous like bloodline. Some of y'all are sages. Like you lived this life over and over and over and over again. You came to enlighten. Which is why you have a strong pull to it. Some of you guys are also medicine men and medicine ladies. You know how to actually cook up potions that assist people with healings. Some of you guys are also. Hold on. Hey, puppet ass. I get out my. Oh, no. Look here. Puppet. Hold on, y'all. The feature with Joker. Joker man. Puppet ass. I had to get my juice. He coming here tripping. Hey. Go sit down. Go sit down. Thank you. Sorry, you guys. I have a wiener dog, pit bull, Dalmatian mix. I know. Hell of a sounding dog, right? <laughs> Only in the South. Only in the South. Okay, dogs need love, too. Okay, dogs need love, too. His mama needed some love. I don't even know what, what they had going on. Just a little bit. He cute, though. Okay, some of y'all have seen Puppy Ed. He, he featured in one of y'all videos for that. Some of you all may also be thinking about going back to school during this time. Some of y'all are going back to school for holistic practices. Some of you guys are going back to school for some type of ag agriculture. It's tied to some type of like agriculture. Some of you guys want to be farmers. Some of y'all also may be looking into land to actually go crops on. Some of you all are tied into people. You come from a lineage of healers but they do they did it in a holistic way like herbs and elixirs some of you all are going to school for some type of aquatic science as well what is the what is the study of plants y'all comment that in the, in, in the inbox i mean i mean in the comments because i don't really know the study of plants what 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 is that is that like i thought it was it's not gardening but you go to school for it some of you guys could be thinking about that okay so that is all for your spiritual messages let's look into this love life because you know y'all damn gemini y'all been coming up in a little bit of everybody's shit no i don't know <laughs> If you're something like Aries, feeling a little fun and flirty, because Mars was in your sign, so that makes you a little passionate, a little fun and flirty, but it also makes you him like, oh, watch temperature now. Spirit, what's, show me, oh, my dad's expecting love. I funny I was talking about that fight. Some of y'all could, yeah, some of you guys could be pulling away and going in this going through this period of solitude some of you guys could be arguing or at war with uh possibly a virgo individual okay 
I definitely feel like some of y'all are dealing with somebody who just really lives to get on your damn nerves. Some of you guys are really mentally conflicted, and I feel like it's causing you to kind of exert or project your anger or your frustrations out, um, possibly with your inter with your external environment, like you've been a bit irritated. And for some of you all, this definitely has to do with the family dynamic, okay? You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could also be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I definitely feel like there's a focus around stability, but it's, it's a fight within the self because you really want to be by your damn self. For some of you all... Some of you guys, you want to communicate this, but you know, if you bring it up, it's going to be a big uproar. Some of y'all are not giving a damn about this uproar during this time. You're going to say what you got to say. Because for some of you all, there's a focus on moving forward. Some of you guys could have moved away from a fire sign and will be moving away from a fire sign during this time because this person likes cake. They have two options. They could have possibly had to choose between yourself and a Virgo or yourself and another fire sign. This could also be the damn Virgo doing this. Some of you all, some of y'all are feeling guilty about self-worth, about leaving someone due to deception or due to some form of, um, due to like deception or some form of abandonment. Like someone had abandonment issues. Maybe you're leaving someone knowing that they got abandonment issues. Some of you guys um, could also be during this time, some of y'all. Some of y'all, there is a Virgo coming back from your past. I feel like you and this person could have had some type of family dynamic together. Or there could be some type of confusion about some type of like scandal or something that was, I'm, I'm hearing what's done in the dark um, will come to the light. Last time I heard it like that and it had like a deep voice like that that came with it. Like the divine's voice personally, I was pregnant with my three-party child, girl. Ah, who's a Gemini? So, oh. Okay, <laughs> ironically, that was dealing with a damn Virgo and the Sag. I ain't got time for this. You know, my my Venus and Gemini, I don't got time for this, okay? I'm just playing, y'all. I'm not playing, but I'm playing, but I'm not. <laughs> some of you guys, <laughs> some of y'all could also could have been dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like some of you guys could also be um, in defense with this person. Some of y'all are dealing with someone who kind of has accountability issues. So instead of taking accountability for their shit, that finger just extends like this. But it's your fault. Your fault. Your fault. Your fault. And some of you guys are just tired of it because it's actually mentally and physically and spiritually exhausting because it leaves you in this energy of doubting yourself like, I know I'm a dreamer. And I dreamt this shit umpteen times, and this motherfucker gonna tell me I'm crazy, but all of his actions in the 3D realm is lining up with these dreams. <sighs> his or her actions. Some of you all, hold on. Yeah, some of you all, there's definitely a judgment. It's judgment time, Gemini, okay? Do I go, do I stay? Do I stay in this place of mental imprisonment? I feel like I'm not growing. I feel like I can't express myself. I feel as if I'm stuck, which in turn may cause me or another person to do some sneaky shit. When ultimately my, I will find so much happiness in moving forward, being by my damn self, growing spiritually, okay? And for some of you all, this could have to do with the Taurus. Some of y'all, this could be, some of y'all could also be dealing with someone who's committed, who some of you guys are going to choose not to be an option. Okay, that's too many. Yeah, some of you guys are going to choose not to be an option. And some of you guys, this definitely has to do with someone who you could have walked away from. Some of you guys, this could, I'm hearing the number eight, okay? So this could have to do with infinite, okay? Fate, destiny. This could also have to do with um, eight months, eight years. But this is definitely a tie to family and some type of commitment assets. This could also have to do with a job. There's this fear of being perceived as um, disloyal or... Um, being perceived as a failure. Some of you guys are walking away from somebody because they damn drink too much. Some of y'all just could have been that damn Virgo drinking too damn much. But there is movement forward during this time. <clears throat> some of y'all want to walk away from a cancer. Some of you guys. Some of you guys could have moved away. Um, some of you guys could have moved away from the father of your children. This person could be an Aries, a Taurus, a Cancer, a Virgo. There is a healing coming to the situation. And for some of you all, it's definitely having to do with children with all these damn rabbits. Yeah. 
and movement. Some of you guys are actually going to physically move. Some of y'all could have physically moved away from a situation that you just didn't want to be in this energy of being um, unsure, not knowing, doubtful, okay? I am um, hearing revelation. So some of you guys, I'm also seeing there could be some type of revelation of a family cycle, okay? So for example, if you find yourself in third party situations all the time, okay? Um, you could have come from a family where possibly there was like a missing mother or a father who possibly, again, was in third party situations as well. Um, you could possibly, if you have an adult children, you could find that there is a cycle even with your children with being in third party situations. There is some type of tie to lineage that is going to be revealed during this time. And for some of you guys, I'm seeing that it involves money. Like some of you guys could have walked away from, let's say you had a child and your child came from royal bloodline okay um maybe there was like some type of unknowing or uncertainty about the situation and maybe you moved away from it okay um let's say that now it is them this is just just an example okay but i'm here for somebody it's not um let's say that you moved away from this person or you moved away from that per that particular circumstance and you chose comfort you chose you know a situation that was more stable this is a time with Jupiter retrograding that this shit, that shit can come back and that person can come and hit the door. Hey, <laughs> remember me? Yeah, we still have some unfinished business. So there's a need for you guys to make a very, very, very centered as well as very quick decision because it's something to that extent that I'm feeling very strongly for some of you. For others of you, just have to do with past life, okay? Re rectifying past life karma around children so for some of you all who have abandonment issues and things of that nature um there's a need for you guys to heal around there for some of you all this could have to do with someone who you dealt with in the past some of y'all this is a cancer or a scorpio could also be pisces for some of you all this could have to do with the Taurus, okay and i definitely feel like there's a sense of healing trying to come to that situation because i definitely feel like it's like there for some of you all you are catalyst to um you are catalyst to movement for someone else um and for some of you guys you probably don't even like that person like that but now this person is going to come back and give you that same thing like they like you like that and for some of you all this could involve a pregnancy some of y'all could be moving away from a damn scorpio because this scorpio just really likes to find the i feel like this person they fair about it Okay, whoever this Scorpio showing up in y'all shit is, you guys are going through a very massive transformation that one that is going to move you towards your life partner who you're supposed to be aligned with. Okay, because I definitely feel like an energy of you guys leaving karmic partners behind, leaving karmic situations, whether it's jobs, people, circumstances. Some of you guys are definitely, um, some of you guys like a Scorpio, but this person is a hoe. I mean, you see smooth through it. Um, they are a soulmate to you, though. But I definitely feel like there's a sense of someone trying to control how the relationship goes, control how the union goes, which is keeping things stagnant. And for some of you all, there's a reconciliation possibly with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, after. And I feel like this is someone who you could have tried to hold on to or someone. This is either someone who you tried to hold on to or someone who tried to manipulate you in the past. But you and this person have both gone through, you or this other person has gone through a transformative period um, so that you guys are able to love one another in a healthy way. Some of you guys are reconciling with the Libra, possibly after losing something that you were trying to hold on to. Some of you guys, there is a rectification coming to legalities, okay? So if there is some type of truth, okay, because I definitely feel like during this time, some of y'all are dealing with Libra, but you see how on this particular card, how they have the sword? With that, that's when I definitely feel like there is some type of truth that is going to be discovered during this time that is going to affect the legalities for someone else. But spirit's hands is all the way in the pudding, like the feeling of a missing piece. Okay, so I definitely feel like if a situation was stuck, some of you guys are going to be receiving some type of um, esoteric information, information through your dreams, as well as verbal information possibly regarding um a situation that was once stuck there is going to be clarity okay especially if it involves if it involves a cancer scorpio or pisces strong emphasis on the pisces but there is getting ready to be possibly a tire moment surrounding a third party situation but it's only a catalyst situation to move you towards your divine partnership divine love and for some of you all towards finances okay some of you guys have been fighting 
the transformative period. Some of you guys could have recently met a Leo and this person is supposed to be in your life. For some of you all, this person has um, ties to your finances that is going to change in a massive way for the positive. And for some of you all, this is about you being courageous and releasing those that, that, that mental imprisonment stage of, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, so that you can move forward towards your new beginning. And for some of y'all, this is the damn catalytic situation that puts you in this place of being able to go in solitude mode to truly heal and stop masking up your emotions and keeping things moving like they don't bother you none. Because everybody know y'all be in y'all bag. Come on now. We know. I, pfft, I know. Okay? Got a Pisces moon. You ain't getting shit past me. I be knowing. All right? So this is what I have for my gems, but I do see ultimately, y'all, a new beginning. New beginning. Movement forward. Every eight that is in this deck could have literally came out by now. So I promise. You guys, there is infinite around momentum and movement forward, but you got to trust that you're going to be okay because some of y'all have this fear of the unknown, and it's literally causing you not to be able to sleep good. It's causing you to not be able to function well. You're thinking about all the negative aspects of what could happen if you choose to make that move versus all of the positive things. I mean, yeah, could, yeah, negative things can happen, but what if they don't? You'll never know just thinking about it. Get your ass off the side of that curb in your head and get on your damn feet and get out there and get to action. Okay? Because it's not going to come. It, well, some of y'all, it is going to come to you. But some of you guys, it's not. Manifesting is doing. It's about you making that movement. Okay? You guys, this is what I have for you guys in love. I send you nothing but peace, blessings, much love. Many, 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 many levels, 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 blocks, and levels of abundance. Because you know abundance comes in many forms. Some people, for me, my health is my abundance as well as my prosperity. For others, it's their damn peace. <laughs> Other people feel a bit different. Other people feel like it's their the, a spiritual abundance. So abundance comes in many forms. I send you guys every form there is to send because I love you all so very much. If you need a personal, that information can be found within the description. Y'all hit me up. Y'all hit me up. Email me so I can give you my little phone number or whatever. <laughs> Bye, booze. Namaste.